It had never been done before. Nobody had ever done this before, and we got it done. We were all stuck in this, call it Hotel California. We went in, we never came out during the entire season that we shot. It ain't bragging if it's true, and I make the best crepes in the world. Egg, flour, a little milk, tiny bit of oil, and then you need this burner, the special Swiss burner. But anyways, that's not really why I'm here today. I want to introduce a brand new segment, a brand new episode of Ask Mr. Wonderful, and it's absolutely incredible. I have been getting so many questions about how we shot Shark Tank in the middle of a pandemic. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share the secrets with you today because I carried a camera around the whole time we were doing it, the whole time. And what we did, we took over the Venetian Sands Hotel in Las Vegas. We sealed the convention center to the hotel. Everybody was quarantined for 11 days before they got there, including all the entrepreneurs who pitched. We went in. We never came out during the entire season that we shot. You're going to see some amazing stuff here, and you're going to watch you make incredible crepes. It had never been done before. Nobody had ever done this before, and we got it done. Enjoy part one of the behind-the-scenes making of Shark Tank, season 12, In the Bubble. So before I can go to Shark Tank, I have to get tested for COVID-19, as does everybody else. That's what's special this year. We're going to work in a bubble. So everyone has to go in there healthy. So I've got Mel, the nurse here, and she's gonna test me. So we're gonna insert it just to the point that we start to feel resistance. When you start to feel resistance, just gonna give me like a grunt or like a mm hmm It's gonna stay in there for about 10 to 15 seconds. We'll rotate it around, and then do it again on the other side. come on over this side. Oh man. Woo! <laughs> One of my biggest challenges to moving to Las Vegas to shoot Shark Tank is moving this entire television studio there. It's a portable studio, but there's a lot of equipment here and it's all got to go because I got to keep shooting. I've got a lot of support I have to do with my companies. We shoot commercials, there's lots of, so lots of social media. So, you know, this is a, a multi-rig setup here. Everything gets packed into cases. Um, obviously, it's going to take a fair amount of work, but everything must go, as they say. Social, baby. Look at that. You gotta go social. Um, I have Jason calling as well. Can we do five? Yeah. Here, stand, you stand here, Kevin. <laughs> stand there, Larry. Get away from me. Now. This is what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna tell you okay, where I'm standing. standing there. Oh my god, Kevin, you? you lost all your hair during COVID. <laughs> really? I think I like Bozo the Clown these days. I need a haircut so badly. first with your mask on. I can't put someone like remember I would just put someone in an empty chair, mm -hmm. whatever was available. Everyone's got to go through mask through hair first with a mask on. Then you go into the makeup, you stay in the same chair, they come to you. Right? There's five chairs in there for each of you. 
well, four, because Lori's in her room. Um, then they'll come to you and do your makeup with your mask off. When you're done with your makeup, no more mask. You have to grab a visor. You have a choice of two visors. One's handheld, so you don't screw up your makeup by putting a mask on. We'll show it to you. You have either a handheld mask, like a plexi, or there's one that has like sort of a collar. It looks like a dog collar. And it goes up like this. This is one choice you have where you can walk around That's like That's very this. attractive. After you're done with makeup. And the other option, I'll try and find it while we're walking around. But it doesn't, you don't have to hold it. It goes around your neck. I, I think goes, I want the dog collar. Yeah, so it's I want to use my hands to text. Yeah. There you go. Put it on again. So these you will need when you leave here to go to your dressing room and when you go to your dressing room to the stage. And then, and you will walk on and sit in your chair with them, and then we will take them away from you. Bunk. And when you exit your chair, we will give them back to you, and you will take it, and you will go off the stage. Oh, there's going to be some great social things. <laughs> Shark pad. Ooh, I got to get a picture of that. We prefer to have our shark PAs go get you what you need than have you guys run back and forth. The, the craft service is nothing like we've had before. So here you each have your own chair. Just touch up this, this, is, this is before we start, before we put you on the set, we'll bring you here for last looks, the touch ups. Okay. And then walk on stage, here. As soon as the picture's over, we get to come back out here as we turn around the set. Over here. So, what will happen is, as soon as the pitch is over, we're going to send the shark PAs in, and maybe me, and we're going to give you your visors, and you're going to walk off and you have to be here with it. It's gonna be standing by and sanitized for you over here during the pitches, and we'll bring it in for you Got it. at the end of the pitches. Okay. Wow, what a setup. just say you see we got a little shark pond for you guys over there the shark pond so after the pitches you guys get up you go over there we do our sanitation between every pitch between every pitch yes Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Right, Kevin's done. To the line, baby. To the line. Where's my line? Yeah, that line right there. That's it. All right, got his face shield on. Yeah. He has a GoPro. I got everything. Uh, everything like he's just a That's the AP Perpetual with a red band. Beautiful. All like right, that. Guys. That's my watch for the, uh, Pretty good the day. It's cool. Yeah, it's All right. Are we ready to roll? Good luck to the Let's go, Pardo. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> I love it. It's better than the handheld one, right? Oh yeah, for sure. That looks like a nice uh, fake Rolex there, Ron. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I bought it on the street corner. Yeah, yeah. I got Listen, a great deal. Looks like the real thing. Don't come into my space, Kevin. Don't worry, I'm not coming near it. It's teeming with death, Robert. Drop with thunder. Yeah, she said it was awesome. Oh, yeah. morning, morning. Thank you. You're so welcome. Come on in, Kevin. All right. Kevin just walked on. How you doing, Kevin? Ready for l'action. Who is the guy that comes over for dinner and you haven't invited his friends and he comes with 17 people and doesn't announce it? <laughs> Who's the guy that comes over for dinner with a giant $3,000 bottle of wine and shows it to you and tells you how much it's worth and then insists on taking it home? <laughs> Who's the Listen, worst guest you never Barbara, want to invite for business? Why? Or, or why, dinner or anything? Why do they call me Mr. Wonderful? Because there's truth in advertising. <laughs>
Okay. These are more than double what they're listed, is yeah. that correct? They're hard to get, but I want to tell you about this particular piece, Michael, why I made it first on our discussions. When I leave here today, I'm going to FedEx this piece. I'll say goodbye to it forever to Phillips Auction House. It is going to be featured in the Prince of Monaco, Prince Albert's um, charity auction in December for water called One Drop. The One Drop Foundation was founded by Guy La Liberté, who's also the founder of Cirque du Soleil. His Highness uh, Prince Albert II of Monaco is also partnered with, with all of us. Uh, so of course, we start with the first lot in this section, lot 63, your uh, 116500 LN Daytona with ceramic bezel, white dial, uh, and of course your signature red band. I have to tell you, your watch has generated tremendous interest already. I'm very happy to hear that. I, I just want to say something about this watch. This Daytona has been with me through some incredible uh, times. It's been almost everywhere in the world I've been. Uh, it's been on Good Morning America, CNBC, Shark Tank, CNN, BBC. Th that is a television watch. If that watch could talk, I mean, there is no, it's that Daytona, that one, that Daytona. Now, maybe I can replace it, but it won't be that piece. <laughs> that, that piece is, that's a, that's a, I'm looking at it and I'm almost starting to cry. That piece is spectacular. It is it's such an incredible watch. Whoever gets it will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Watches in the world for insecure men like Kevin O'Leary. Of all your watches, this is one of my favorites. Why? Because it is very sparkly. If your ego is not intact and you want to act like a big shot, you want this watch. It's the best in the business for small egos. So full of crap. When you look at the dial here, like all the, it's just very sparkly. It's like a jewel. Well, it's an absolute classic. It's elegant, very versatile. It goes with everything. And you know, it just, it's for a certain distinguished kind of gentleman. And I absolutely so love the way that Mr. Wonderful yeah. here does it with his own flair with the pop of red. I mean, it just stands out so much. That. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> I just love it. You know, I love making crepes. Make them now, serve them all week long. People absolutely love them. Chihuahua caramba! If you like that video, wait till you see my next one. Don't forget to click right over here and subscribe.